Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of Biafra, Mazi Simon Ekpa Njoku, to this emergency media press briefing. Welcome on stage, my Prime Minister. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Biafra people. Good evening from here. Press, ladies and gentlemen of the press that are seated in your various location to listen to this evening space. I welcome you all, friends and lovers of Biafra, and of course, those who love and cherish freedom. My fellow Biafrans, I am very, very happy today, and at the same time, I am sad. I'm happy for the fact that you have shows, shown the highest resilience in the modern freedom fighting. Your resilience is top, top, top notch. And it is a evidence of the job that we have done for the past three years. We made you go through the fire to become a diamond. Today, you have become a diamond. As a Biafran, you find yourself anywhere in Nigeria, you have become a diamond. And you must be very proud of yourself anywhere you are as a Biafran. Anywhere you are within the Nigeria state, you must be very proud of yourself because your resilience has made you become a very precious stone. Within the Nigeria system, as a Biafran, I want you to be very proud of yourself going forward. We have conducted four successful days sit at home. Today was actually the highest in the history of our sit at home. Today, recorded the highest compliance. I mean, even chicken was not in the street. Not even a foul. And the worst part of it is that Nobody even want to go out to make videos. The today sit at home is the highest of it all. What does that tell you? It tells you that the Afra government has defeated Nigeria. And it tells you also what to expect after the Biafra declaration in December we will shock Nigeria and the world. I'm very, very happy that the result of the template to the liberation of Biafra is coming out to the public and to the world, especially to those who doubted our resolve from the beginning. You must remain fearless before your enemy. Our slogan, as you know, is freedom or die. The die is not for us, it's for the enemies. And I want everyone to understand that Nigeria has collapsed. I want to use this opportunity to send on behalf of the Biafra government, our condolences to people in Meduguri, people who have lost their loved one today under Nigeria in the name of protesting, I am sending my condolences on behalf of the Afra government to those in Meduguri that lost their loved one. It may surprise you and shock you today that Nigeria Terrorist Air Force conducted air bombardment on people in Bruno State and they killed hundreds from air strike. Did you hear it anywhere? I am asking you, did you hear it anywhere? Of course you can't. So we send our condolences to the family that have lost their loved one in the air bombardment of the Nigeria Air Force today in Medugri. At the same time, we want to 
commend those in Gombe who actually stood their ground to fight. Even though we are not fighting and we are not protesting and we don't have the same ideology, but we have some kind of alliance. So the encouragement we will continue to give you. Those in Gombe, you must continue to stand very strong. They made sure that three ministries in Gombe was raised today. That is the consequences of the killings in those areas. In all this, we have made it very clear. Any day, anywhere, a Biafra become a victim. The Biafra Defense Forces must be standing by. We will move to the street. This is not going to disrupt our template to the liberation of Biafra. The resistance fighters, the Biafra Defense Forces, and the Biafra Liberation Army, you must be on standby. The Chief of Army Staff, criminal terrorist staff, has issued a threat that they are watching and they will intervene. And I know that when they issue this threat of intervening, they are not intervening anything. The target is Biafrans. And this time around, we have army, we have defense forces that have stood, defended our land, killed them, neutralized them in numbers, and they know what we can do. So on this note, I am calling on all the fighters of Biafra forces, both those in the reserve and those that are very active in their command and bases to stand by. When the order will be given for the street, it will not be public. So they don't know what is hitting them. While we continue our liberation struggle until November, we'll change the dynamic again. Our dynamics will be changing probably on a monthly basis. I told you people that the month of July will be a very interesting month that you can never forget. And I want you to take your memory back to the, to the month of July. The history that we have created can never be wiped away. When you talk about how Biafra fought their way out of Nigeria, July will ever live in the mind of these terrorists and their sponsors. In the month of August will be the double of the month of July. What it means is that you will hear news and news and news from the Afro land. We will never allow terrorists to breed in our land. I want you to understand that we are not yet in the declaration stage. We have not declared Biafra yet. But our target and objective is to make sure that Nigeria will never breed in our land to kill our women and children again and go free. The promise of this government of Biafra is that every Nigeria presence will be neutralized in Biafra land. Every Nigeria presence, I mean every Nigeria presence, because Nigeria is evil nigeria is dead and the earlier we eradicate death from our land the better for us nigeria is dead that is what nigeria represent nigeria represent blood of innocent people and biafrance has paid the biggest price i must thank all biafrance for this particular loyalty and mandate given to the Biafra government in exile 
and the de facto government in homeland. I want you to understand that this is the very first time in the history that exile government have politically and civilly control its territory to a very highest degree there has never been any time even in those days when the freedom fighters were in very unity and in unison where they embrace each other and come out forget about their differences to fight there has never been in the history where they have the kind of control over our territory like the Biafra government in exile today, the Biafra Republic government in exile. What that means is that we have defiled every strategy that Nigeria have used in the past and in present and even in their future. We have been able to conduct self-referendum that is ongoing the self-referendum have recorded 49 million. You know, when they had 30 million vote, they were surprised. How uh, you don't mind them. One man was on the TV and was talking rubbish. Oh, now he claimed he has uh, he has recorded uh, uh, 30 million vote. He also, uh, you know, that he does a uh, palliative. And I want Sonny to get that video if you have it, so you can play it here. I want the listener to listen to that particular voice where that man was making comment that uh, uh, Simon Ekpa is giving palliative. That's why people are listening to him. Also, he claimed he has, do, he has, uh, he has gotten 30 million votes. Today, we are 49 million. 49 million people of Biafra have voted and given us the power to speak for them and make decisions for them. That is the highest true democracy. Which, which Nigeria and many African countries never offer their citizens the right to decide their future. We are bringing that particular true democracy to Africa. And the voting is still ongoing. And they were wondering, how is this guy, how is this government, how is this Biafra doing this thing? We are doing it because while you were busy talking rubbish on social media who we were busy researching on how to destroy Nigeria from within. Anywhere we want to see the visibility for Biafra to speak in a language Nigeria will never understand in any part of Nigeria, we have the capability to do that. When people are saying, oh, why do you bring the war into your doorstep? What you don't know is bigger than you. As we are fighting to exit, there are many people in the North that believe that the exit of Biafra will change their future for good. And we identify ourselves with them. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with these people in the North. I will not make any further statement. But let us watch how this whole protest go. Like you know, the Biafra people can never ever protest for the betterment of Nigeria. But I am very, very glad, happy, and will be waiting when their terrorist army will be unleashed on the innocent people and let a Biafra who is in his shop or in her shop get killed. Then you will see madness. You know, they thought they are the only one who know what is violent. We will teach them what is violent. We will teach them that the self-defense, which is enshrined in international law, Biafra people know how to defend themselves, and we know how to activate those laws of self-defense. Like never before, where you'll be wondering, what is going on? Just like you are wondering today. Some of them, you see them on social media, they are bragging. Simon Ekman, hand will touch you soon. I don't have your time. But what I'm fighting is a just cause. I am fighting to defend the defenseless women and children of Biafra that has fallen victim of Nigeria for decades. 
Nobody has ever risen up to confront Nigeria the way we are doing today. And nobody will ever do. We are going to be the last after I will be the end of Nigeria. Mark my word. Because any day Biafra is declared and we fight against them and defend it, it means Nigeria is no longer existing. It does not matter whether the name Nigeria is retained by some people, but the name Nigeria, which Biafra was part of, will no longer exist. So I will be the end of Nigeria. It does not matter the threat and those planning to come and attack Simon Ekpa somewhere. I will not speak for that. But you know, you have tried four times. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. This is the fifth one. I am waiting for all of you. But my promise is that you will never go back. The spirit of Sisu is what we are using to fight against a terrorist state called Nigeria. It is a Sisu, a Sisu spirit which only the Finns understand. I have come to know what is freedom. I have come to understand that freedom is precious. And one thing that makes me laugh sometimes is that I listen to these people and watch those people fighting for one Nigeria and I laugh. You can never fight one Nigeria like me. Would you believe that somebody like me was in the forefront of supporting Article in 2019? Even leading Article campaign in Europe. You can never be one Nigeria more than me in the past. So when I look at you today, dying for Nigeria, I just laugh. Because there are many things you don't know that if you do, you will ever regret going out to the street to protest for end bad governance. It's a waste of energy, waste of life, waste of resources, and channeling your energy to the wrong channel, which can never bring anything. Nigeria is not designed to be a better country. Nigeria was not formed to be a country where you are going to be competing with other nations. Every competition that is coming from Nigeria is individual, individual competition. Individual competition in business, individual competition in sport, individual competition in academics, individual competition in everything. Nigeria do not, does not have anything to compete with anybody or any country in any way in the world. And you know why? The agenda is caliphate-based agenda. In 1989, they had a conference in Abuja called Abuja Declaration. How many of these people in the street of Nigeria today, especially from the South, knows the content of Abuja Declaration of 1989? None of them. Even if they know, they think it doesn't matter. 